Hey, hey, stop spitting at me, mister. You broke out of your pen. We're not happy about it. Welcome to Simon Says Farms again, YouTube channel. Um, we're fixing our goat pen. That guy back there, the big one up against the fence, he broke out. Um, so take a look at what we do to repair and how we set up to make sure we're in a position that when they do break out, we can get them back in safely. Got it. You dummy. Yeah, we're fixing it now and then you're going back in. So this room is our original barn when we first started. How many goats did we start with? Four? Yeah. Yeah, four goats a bunch of years ago. So we keep this barn vacant for reasons like this. When stupid bucks break out of their pens, yes, you're stupid. we get to lock them in you're stupid. And, uh, and work on their pen while, uh, while they're in a safe place. So it's like having an extra pen that we don't need all the time. So tools you should always have around. Zip ties, your wife, <laughs> some type of scissors of some kind heavy duty, bailing twine, keep it around, lots of it's quite strong. Extra pieces of chain, short pieces with a with a carabiner on an end. Good, good way to lock things up. And then staples, big, thick, heavy staples. This is so we can bang that fence back in. And with all that around at all times, when a buck breaks out, you could pretty much fix your fence quickly and get him back to where he belongs. So he's gonna end up back in here where the dogs are now. Wow, that sun is bright. Um, he's gonna end up back in here in a couple minutes, is maybe a 20 minute repair. But he, uh, he got out on us. Who knows how long he was out for. Um, but he made it out. Yeah, the day after. It's a Black Friday sale on bucks. If, if anybody wants one. He's not for sale. <laughs> Sometimes we have to resort to bailing twine over zip ties. Sometimes. In case this is my tool of choice. It's a tool of choice. <laughs> so right over here, right about here, is where the buck escaped from. Uh, pushed the fence down and climbed over and ended up in the woods there. The good thing is we kind of have a natural barrier that made him turn left instead of turning right and ending up out there in the road. We do have a section of a separate fence out there left over from when we moved in. So it's kind of like a second. And he wrapped himself around this red barn and ended up inside the red barn eating a whole bunch of hay like it was a buffet. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gross. <laughs> so as you can see in that video, boys are gross. Um, goats are escape artists. This white fence back here is much stronger than what our bucks have. So we may upgrade their fence one of these days, build really strong fencing for them. Um, but it's usually not that bad and uh, he made it out. We fixed it quickly. He's safe. So everything's good um, Please subscribe write it down here. I'll add the bubble later and uh, thank you for watching and if there's any comments or questions or anything You'd like to see around our farm. Just let us know. Have a good one